Hi friends, so in this video we will uh, discuss about the cache memory. Uh, cache memory is a smaller memory, so it may be you can consider this as a volatile memory. So if the power goes on automatically, uh, the data may be lost. Okay, so where it will be placed? So in the next slide, uh, we will see where it will be placed. So the cache memory will be placed between uh, CPU and the main memory. Okay, so the second diagram that is a B. So the second diagram, uh, you can see uh, how many levels are there. how many levels are there. So example, you can uh, uh, say it as uh, on chip cache memory and the off chip cache memory like that. So on chip cache memory means the, the level one cache. That's the L one cache may be placed in the uh, mother uh, in the uh, processor. It may be called as a on chip cache memory and the levels will be there. So based on that, uh, the level by level the data transfer uh, speed may be a little bit slow. So L1 cache will be a little bit faster and the L2 cache a little bit slower and the last one is the L3 cache a little bit uh, slower. And next uh, diagram, so where uh, the memory management unit may be required. Okay, so in the, for the uh, processor side if you are looking, the processor will generate the uh, logic address will be generated by the processor then that uh, logic address need to be mapped to the physical address that is the exact location in the main memory ok so this is the two different uh, cache placement um, before the memory management unit and after the memory management unit so in the both the both uh, diagrams are showing that so physical address need to be mapped to the logical address then it, it need to be identified that particular data location so this is the need for uh, cache memory so example, you, you may be asking a question, so why cache memory is required? Uh, example, uh, usually if, you're, if the user is giving the uh, program for the execution, so automatically most of the time, the program execution, most of the time it may be spent for the data transfer. So data transfer uh, takes more, num more amount of time uh, compared to the uh, program execution. So if the, after getting the data, the program execution takes a little, uh, little bit faster. Okay. So now, if you are reducing the data transfer time in the program execution, you can get the results faster. So frequently used data will be placed in the cache memory. Then whenever the data is required, automatically the data will be taken from the cache, then the data transfer time will be reduced. So this is the major advantage of cache memory. So in the next slide, we can see how the cache memory and the main memory will be divided. Okay, so here uh, will be uh, categorized for the how it may be mapped between uh, cache memory and the main memory. Okay, so consider the first. Uh, you can see the main memory uh, has up to two uh, two uh, n words. That is uh, here uh, the cache memory will be divided into number of uh, lines. Then the uh, main memory may be divided into number of blocks. So example here, uh, the number of words will be there. Example, uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you want to map the uh, 64 KB cache memory with the 32 MB uh, prime, uh, primary memory, that is the main memory, how uh, 64 MB cache will be mapped with the main memory. So here, you need to divide the uh, cache memory into number of lines. It may be called as a block. So block or line. So same that may be mapped with the uh, main memory. So main memory also divided into number of words. So here a uh, block of words may be considered for the mapping purpose only. So not the exact here block to block uh, mapping may not be there. But here uh, block to the number of words. So here number of words may be considered as a block. That is a uh, in one block example if you are considering the main memory one block may be having the k number of words will be there. So here in the cache memory, one block may be considered as one cache line. That one cache line mapped with k number of words that is a main memory block. So this is how the main uh, the cache memory will be mapped to the main memory. Okay, so here this is the consideration. For the consideration, n fixed length block will be there. The blocks will be there in the main memory. So each block will have k words. So this is about the main memory and the cache memory will have m blocks so again the cache memory will be divided into number of blocks it may be called as a lines okay so each cache line consists of k words plus tag bits for the mapping consideration so this k words and the tag and the tag bits so example if you are considering here 
the one one particular zero that is the line number zero will be mapped to the block number first block. So first block we have k words that will be mapped to the uh, zero line. Okay. In the next slide, you can consider these are the concepts or you, you, these are the uh, things you need to know before mapping function of the cache memory. Okay. So need for the cache. So why cache memory is required? Already we discussed. Then primary memory and secondary memory. This is the hierarchy. Prime, uh, secondary memory, primary memory, and the cache memory. Then why? How the execution time uh, may be considered? So execution time may be data transfer time and the execution time. So this is the this is about the execution time. And second one is the cache memory use. So frequently used data will be stored in the cache memory. And second one is the catch hit and the catch miss. So what is meant by catch hit and catch miss? So if the data, example, if the processor during the program execution, processor checks for the data in the cache memory. If the required data uh, in the cache memory is available, that is called catch hit. If the required data is not available in the cache memory, it may be called as a catch miss. Okay, so then what is meant by trashing? Okay, trashing means, so example, if the processor is always doing the uh, catch miss, that is if the, catch, uh, if the required data is not there in the cache memory, always it needs to find from the main memory. If the data transfer time, it may be increased more amount, more number of catch misses are occurring, always the process will do the data transfer. So that is called trashing. So in the later uh, videos, we will discuss about uh, what is trashing. Then catch size and the main memory size. So catch size will be very lesser compared to the main memory. So example, if you are uh, checking with the uh, recent processor is a Skylark i7 processor. It's having a 4 MB cache, but it may be support. It may be supports the uh, 16 GB RAM. 16 GB main memory can be supported by the cache memory of 4 MB. So this can be mapped. Then catch lines. So cache, how the mapping can be done between cache memory and the main memory. So that is called catch lines will be uh, mapped with the main memory blocks. So in the next slide, so catch memory mapping. So how the mapping will be done? So example, uh, already in the previous slides we have seen that the processor will generate the logical address. Then the logical address need to be mapped with the physical address with the help of memory management unit. Then you can identify the um, uh, exact location of the data in the main memory. So this is how it may be mapped. So here what are the things you need to know the address what are the components will be there in the address. So one the logical address will have three components one is the tag bit and second one is the index bit and third one is the offset bit. So again here in the mapping function what are the mapping functions are there three ma major mapping functions are there one is a direct mapping and second one is a fully associative mapping and third one is a set associative mapping. So uh, uh, these are the comp these are the things or information may be required for the cache memory mapping. So in this video we just discussed about what is cache memory then uh, what is uh, what are the things required for cache memory then levels are what are the levels are there L1, L2, L3 these are the levels and uh, uh, what is the catch miss and catch hit uh, then what is trashing and all then uh, uh, what, how, what, uh, how the logical address will be generated so processor will generate the logical address then what are the things or what are the components will be there in the logical address so three things are there in the logical address one is the tag bit, index bit and the offset bit so in the next video we will discuss about all these things one by one the mapping functions we will discuss one by one one is the direct mapping second one is the fully associative mapping and third one is the set associative mapping thank you